done this many times, and this is the hardest. Funny, I'm speaking from Houston, not from any other school. Um, we have had wonderful times in that school, wonderful memories. Sorry. I still was stunned when I saw that tiny little blonde kid that used to run down the hall last week was up to here. Um, I miss being able to go and say, honey, um, what's the right way to say this? I've been seeing it so often the wrong way the kids do it, I forget the right way. And Bunny always knew. You left even six years ago, but only your body left. Your spirit still roams that fifth grade hall. <laughs> Times I say, uh oh. <laughs> Carol, you have been a true friend, a mentor, someone that the entire building absolutely adores. They made the right choice last year for naming you Teacher of the Year. My main regret in, in Carol's leaving is the fact that I'm going to have to start reading the newspaper again. <laughs> she has been my main source. We know news before anyone else does. I just have David email to directly. I don't mind that. Um, it will be impossible to replace you as it was impossible to replace Buddy. And we're go on. But Duke in school is going to have to work a little bit to have everybody come up to your standards. Thank you. Thank you, Jane, for the very kind words. And thank you, everybody. And I wouldn't even know where to begin. So I will just say thank you. <laughs> And Jane, we shouldn't go too far because we're going to need you up there again. And I'd like Sandy Saba to join her. And of course, Pat Milwaukee, please come up to the podium. Come on, Sandy. Oh, sorry. And of course, with, with uh, no further ado, please, Bunny Liebenson, please come up to the podium. Keep smiling, keep shining, knowing you can always count on me, for sure, that's what friends are for. Well, uh, thank you. There's an awful lot of talent in this room, especially from the middle school. That's all I can say. that they gave me just a minute or two to say some wonderful things that are heartfelt about Bunny and I'll be up in just a minute again to recognize another really wonderful staff member who's also retiring this year. Um, I did hear something about Bunny coming from Dugan. I, 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 I did hear something about that, but I'll tell you that when she joined us kicking and screaming, um, we were absolutely thrilled to have her join the middle school family and become a real leader in our school but some parents said it best and said it much better than I so I'd like to tell you what they said in 1995 can you believe she was around in 1995 <laughs> Karen wrote a letter to the elementary principal and said we didn't want to pass up this opportunity to commend Mrs. Liebenson for her work she represents the type of teacher that we would like to see in our schools, and we hope our younger children have the opportunity to be in her class. The following year, another parent wrote a letter, and she said, you, Mrs. Liebenson, create a stimulating environment. How fortunate for Jill to be taught by a master teacher. You are a credit to your profession. And another parent, a couple years later, wrote, you have a devoted fan in your class. Ricky absolutely loves everything about you. Your teaching style, your personality, and your sense of humor. 
Thank you for touching Ricky's life in such a special way. Thank you for simply being a wonderful you. I have said to Bunny several times as I walk through the hall upstairs in the D-Wing, and when I have the opportunity to sit in her class, how often I say that I would have liked to have had a teacher like Bunny. So Bunny, congratulations. to me and said I was going to be on Bunny's team. She's many times Bunny's team and how great Bunny is and she's wonderful and you're going to love her and she's fabulous. Well, it was my first day and I was a brand new teacher so I didn't want to say anything but who, Bunny? I didn't understand. <laughs> <laughs> I was very confused. I thought maybe, yeah, I was very, you know, very surprised. So to my surprise, I finally got to meet Bunny and her name was actually Bunny. And what did you expect? <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> and it's been three years since then, and at this point I couldn't imagine a day going by without knowing Bunny. She has truly become one of my greatest friends. So, unlike some of you being able to speak from your heart, I am not very good at that. So, together our team wrote something, and I'm going to read you what we wrote because I'll just cry if I try to talk from my heart. So, over the years, Bunny has spent time at both Marlboro Middle School and Dugan, okay? yeah. and, has, <laughs> and has positively impacted my life and the lives of many students and faculty members. Throughout her journey as an educator, she has served not only as a teacher, but a mentor, a role model, and most importantly, our friend. Her unique style of teaching always captivates her students and any other person you can find in her classroom. Bunny uses her sense of humor her compassion to foster a welcoming environment for all the students she encounters. Beyond the curriculum, Bunny always made time for an extra life lesson to help her students become well-rounded members of our community. One thing is for sure, she has always made school an enjoyable place for her students and peers. While we all know that Marlboro School community is losing an invaluable teacher, we know that her family will welcome the opportunity to enjoy more time with her. We are certain she will appreciate the many special moments with her husband, sometimes. <laughs> her children, of course, and more importantly, her grandchildren. <laughs> Good thing he's not here, right? <laughs> Family vacations, milestones, and daily events will become all the more relaxing given her break from school. Her warm thoughtfulness and outstanding generosity will be greatly missed by the entire Marlboro community. We love you. <laughs> Thank you.